Be prepared for highly offensive language throughout and adult chat. Previously, the claws were out for Stephanie. Daniela, because we've had our differences. Let me have this The girl did it to her damn self. <laughs> I don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> she knows it. I just don't care. He's gone. No way I'm going to say anything because it would kick into the most tumultuous row. Tonight, Gemma's sent packing. The celebrity housemate seventh to be evicted is Gemma. Yes. Oh, my. And the truth hurts. I need a little bit of time out from Steph. This is where shit starts getting serious. It's all bollocks for the cameras, Oops. I don't think that's gone down too well at all. First flag, mate. You don't call your friend a slag, it's a low blow. I'm in a badass mood. Ah! Oh, shut up. <laughs> Sit around the naughty step, something, please. <laughs> Dear 29, 9.45 a.m. Tonight is the last eviction before the final and either Daniela, Stephanie or Gemma will be leaving the house. Why don't you let me do... Dow, you ain't dirty... doing anything. No, but a dirty saucepan, No, you? I'm a proper woman. I ain't gonna have you washing up. But I wash up all the time, it nah, ain't a problem. Nah, nah. Ain't what I like to say. Man's got to be a man. Stephanie has a question for John. You're not pissed off at me, are you? Me? Yeah. Why? I don't know, I just, feel, I just thought you'd been a bit off with me. Maybe it's just a hat, maybe I'm just being paranoid because we're in the house. No, darling, I'm not pissed off with you at all. I've not done anything to upset you, though, have I? No, of course you haven't, darling. It's not that. It's, it's not that. What is it? It's nothing. I'm not pissed off with you at all. I don't want you to think that I'm pissed off with you. You feel like you're holding something back and not telling me, just telling me. No, it's not that, baby. It's not that. I just want you to be OK. I want you to be OK. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. And sometimes I worry for you, and then I feel like, why am I worrying for you? It's not even my place to worry about you. You've got to eat your worry. Last night, for example, right, I'll just give you an example of where sometimes I go, but I, I could go, I don't get you. I, just, I came out from the bath last night and I had a really relaxing time and it was lovely and it was wonderful. And I was like, babe, why don't you go and have a bath? It's like really relaxing, calm me down. You're like, oh, no, I'm like, I don't want to put a bikini on there because there's cameras in there and stuff and I'm not toned. And then two minutes later, you're like, yeah, let's play strip poker. And I'm like, well, babe. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna you think, think of it like that? That's Do you see what I mean? That, that, yeah. In my head, that's when I go, I was thinking, no, I like, don't <laughs> understand how that works. And then I'm like, babe, why don't we just sit and play a game of cards? <laughs> you're going to be like, oh, you're going to be able to relax. And you're like, Oh, I can't you... do it, I'm bored. <laughs> and then I'm like... Uh, do you get me? <laughs> On one hand, I want to mother you and love you and protect you. On the other hand, <laughs> I could flush me. your head down the toilet. <laughs> because, and it, and it, then I can feel myself going, oh, I'm going to... Yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what I mean? Sometimes your idea of fun, I don't think it's even fun for you. I think you just do it because you want to feel something, anything, but this right now. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, It's like, yeah. I just want to feel something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. And it's that that worries me. I don't want to wind you up. You don't. But it's I just, in my head, it's I'm just that. thinking, what can I do? Let's do random things. Let's have fun. Right. Let's have a good day. I love you. Love you too. Thank you for speaking to me. My pleasure. I'm sorry for being a crank. Shut up, and I'm sorry for being a crank. You're not a crank. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> 3 or 4 p.m. For today's task, housemates must go head to head. Reality stars Gemma, Tiffany, and Scotty T will take on non reality stars Daniela, Stephanie, John, and Darren to play Am I on Par with a reality star? This is Big Brother. Your first subject is a memory quiz. Teams should now decide which housemate yeah, should represent good. them on this subject. Go on, go on, go on, what did Gemma give Tiffany on the first night in the Big Brother house? A pair of Dolce & Gabbana shoes for her birthday. Shoes, Dolce & Gabbana with jewels on. 
What was Gemma's birthday Shetland pony called? Um. Tony the Pony. <laughs> <laughs> Tony the Pony. Well done, girl. For the next round, Gemma will take on Darren in spelling. Spell the word controversy. What? The Big Brother know. house has not been short of controversy. Oh, I don't know if I've got this one right. C-O-N-T-R-O-V-E-S-Y. C-O-N-T-R-O-V-E-R-S-Y. Controversy. Darren, you are correct and have scored a point. Gemma, you are incorrect and have not scored a point. Well, who needs to spell when you've got spell check? I, I know it. I know it. Spell the word vajazzle. Gemma Collins enjoys the occasional vajazzle. I don't know whether it's a real word, though, is it? Yeah. It's not. It is. It's in the English Oxford Dictionary. Oxford War Kid. V-A-J-A-Z-Z-L-E. I put vajazzle. <laughs> <laughs> V A G A S I L for Jassil. Oh, I'm sorry, guys, I had no idea how to spell for Jassil. You know what I mean? I've never had one. Next, Tiffany will take on John in general knowledge. Let's go, Goal. What? Your first question is What is heavier, a ton of feathers or a ton of bricks? They both weigh the same. I said bricks. What is the square root of nine? Oh, God. I'd never know that. I've got no clue. We didn't do that at ballet school. I'm going to guess that. Twelve. Three. The correct answer is three. No the square way. root of a number is the number. It's a number times by itself, so four times four is twelve. The square root of twelve is four. I know roots for me. There's everything. I can do everything. I like maths. Maths is boss. An electric train is moving north at 100 miles per hour and a wind is blowing to the west at 10 miles an hour. Which way does its smoke blow? There's no smoke blowing at all. Yes, Tiff. Go on, Tiff. I said southeast <laughs> because it was going northwesterly. The correct answer is there is no smoke with an electric train. Oh, Tiffany I... is correct. Well done, girl. Next, Scotty T will take on Stephanie in Geography. The first area is Essex. Oh, bollocks. I just know, I always go and going up to London, they say, no, you're going down. So, I know it's got to be down. Oi! This is Big Brother. Both housemates are correct. Yeah! I've got it right! The next area is Liverpool. Right, you know where that is. I don't know where it is. Of course you do. Of course you do. Of course you do. You know where Liverpool is. Of course you do. I do, but I just don't know where I live. You can do that. Go! I don't know where I live. I know it's the Winnie the Pig. Scotty T, you are correct. Oh, Stephanie, you are incorrect. Oh. Can somebody make sure they get her a fucking taxi on? <laughs> <laughs> For the final round, Gemma is taking on Stephanie in real life. What is a courgette called in America? We're fucked. Yeah. Zucchini or aubergine? <laughs> Stop laughing. As of 1pm on Tuesday the 2nd of February, which housemate still in the Big Brother house has the most Twitter followers? I'll just take a guess who's the most popular. Scotty T. Tiff, because she's got loads in America and now in England, so she's probably got loads, loads, loads. With 1.31 million, the answer is Scotty T. Hey! I'd have guessed that too, girl. As of 1pm on Tuesday the 2nd of February, which housemate still in the Big Brother house has the least Twitter followers? Me. Darren Day. The correct answer with 22,700 followers, is Darren Day. Darren, I'll get you, I'll get you better followers, me. Dude, that's 20,000 up from when I came in here. This is Big Brother. Reality stars and non-reality stars. You have battled head to head, and it's now time to find out who the true Einsteins are of the Big Brother house. Oh. The winners are Team Reality. Hooray! Coming up.
Daniela reveals all. Got crusty drawers in his shit stinks. Happy dating. Good luck on Tinder. And John tells it straight. Stop talking about it, right? Stop talking about it now. Five or seven p.m. Gemma is giving Darren some career advice. I think, do you know, it's, if I was your manager right now, yeah, I would have you within three days of getting out of here. Well, no, I tell you what, for the Christmas market, you need to do a Darren Day calendar. Calendar? If you want us, sort it out for you. Uh. Nans will buy your calendar. <laughs> Girls my age would buy your calendar. Mums. <laughs> and men will buy your calendar, yeah? You're a heartthrob. A There's money Jim, in it. I ain't a heartthrob, mate. Think of the money from the calendar signings. I like your style. Maybe you should manage me. No, I'll make but... you I can make you thousands. Stephanie and Daniela are bonding. My crusty knickers have been aired on TV, mate. No, they have. What about the pay you left in the garden for three days? The what? Everyone was stepping over it, the pay you left on the garden. <laughs> the freaking onesie got up and walked itself back to the back door. <laughs> and then I'll shift in a box. Right. She said I had the worst one. Got crusty drawers and your shit stinks. <laughs> <Here's>. <laughs> Happy dating. Good luck on Tinder. <laughs> your Tinder window's gonna be on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of ready now. I feel like I've grown a little bit in here. Mm. I don't know, that sounds a bit wank. But I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? You're married, I wouldn't even think No, I know you're thoughts, respectful. You know what I mean? I know you're like, never in a million. Oh, I know just, you're respectful, yeah. You know. They will now. The bad press, it, like, I lost a lot. Sometimes I'd, I'd see when particularly oh. bad stories were on, especially front page, yeah, I'd watch my ticket sales go. When, before that happened, you know, I, I, I used to, you know, I was breaking box office records around the theatres, around the country. You will again. And then suddenly I just, I couldn't put the bums on seats anymore because of the, of the press I was getting. <laughs> See, I don't read none of that shit. No, nah, but people do, shit. don't they? That's the trouble, is people do read it and believe it. And and to be fair, you know, a lot of the stuff that went in was true. I, I was do you know badly what, though, I think your fate in life has been you had to go all through what you went through to appreciate it again this time. Oh, boy, will I ever appreciate it? Because you grab, you'll grab it now with both hands. You didn't appreciate the fame before. I, I will appreciate mm. everything and anything that happens to me, whatever it may be. Because it's tough the first time round, because it happens you so don't quickly. Expect and it. You can't handle it. No. You, you can't play Cliff Richard on stage and have anything but a clean cut image, can you? So it was kind of cut out for me in the jobs that I was doing and the work that I had. And if you're going to be labelled as they call they called me the Cliff, the new Cliff, the new. They called me the new Jason Donovan originally, then they called me the Cliff of the 90s, the new Cliff. Now, if you're going to have the label, of the new Cliff Richard, and then you start doing what I was doing. It's gonna fucking bite you hard in the ass, isn't it? Seven or four p.m. Housemates are getting ready for the eviction. Either Stephanie, Gemma. Or Daniela will be leaving the Big Brother house tonight. Make me look amazing, Tiff, because it's my night tonight. Oh, girl, you ain't going nowhere, but I hear what you're saying. Oh, I am. I can oh, feel it. Stop. <laughs> they don't really get any easier these nights, do they? No. It's always stressful, isn't it? There's always a strange atmosphere of brewing, eh? Yeah. Get in, you little bastard. Never want to see this case again. If we've made the final, I'll be chuffed as nuts, mate. To be honest with you. Yeah, fucking. Do you know what I mean? I really would be. 
We'll find out tonight. Amazing. Amazing. All right, this time four weeks ago, we was all shitting ourselves, getting ready to get in cars to come in here. If I do go tonight, while you're on your bed, just know I'm probably getting laid by Jez. Ew. We're on. Ah! It's showtime. <laughs> that noise. It sounds crazy out there. Celebrity Big Brother House, this is Emma. Hi, Emma. Good luck, everyone. I can now reveal the housemate with the most votes and therefore safe from eviction is... I know we'll go in. Come on, Jensie. Stephanie. There you go. Come on, girl. Good girl. Jensie. Well done. Back to the Yes. Gemma, I can now reveal the celebrity housemate with the fewest votes and seventh to be evicted is... Gemma! Yes. Oh, no. It's my time. Please. It's my time. <laughs> Good luck. I love you all. Don't cry. Go in the smash it. Please leave the celebrity Big Brother house. You are an independent, fancy, viral, sexy son of a bitch. I love you all. I'll be rooting for you. She can handle that shit. Come on, Yolanda. Come on, sit down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, guys, I didn't get a full-on booze. Really? I got some no, cheese. No, you guys, a lot of cheers. Steph, it was a completely different reaction to Friday. Different reaction. I think it's because Steph's ever going to go out there. Do you know what I mean? I don't even think... Babe, I don't even think it's that. It's a different crowd. It's because you're not just focused on you and Jez. You're not just... You're not... You're getting involved with everyone. You're not just... It's because I said I'm sorry and I can't... I can't... Sorry for Because beforehand, you were never... No one spent time with you because you'd always be jealous. So when you turn around, you get involved in the house more, and people and, and then you open, you open up about things. Stop talking about it. Yeah, exactly. Stop Shut talking up. about it. Right? Stop talking about it now. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I'm buzzing with the fans. Stop talking about it. Stop talking about Jess. Stop talking about you being the most hated woman in Britain. Stop talking about how boring the negative shit. Get out. Right, get this. Stop talking about it. <laughs> Just shut up, man. Just. We've got to stay and, and embrace the moment, well, kid. Got, but also, we can't, can't, we can't constantly keep doing that with you as well, right? Yeah, we can't constantly keep going to, come on, come on, come on. You've got to... It's about everybody else as well, do you see what I mean? So you're in it now, and you're in it. So you're in now, so forget... That. That's what I mean. So now, it's been, it's done, and it's gone. We'll just have a laugh. Ten thirty-two pm Big Brother has an exciting announcement. This is Big Brother. Oi, oi. Congratulations, housemates. Oi. You are all Celebrity Big Brother 2016 finalists. Oh, yes! yes! <laughs> oh my God. Guys, group hug, come on. Come on, <laughs> Fucking group. Yes! Yes! Oh my God. Oh my days, Big Bro. There's some a frisk these next two days. Or whatever. Class of 2016, oh, yeah. kids. Oh, look at the pictures. Oh! oh. Okay. This Listen. is Big Brother. Oh, Hello, Big Brother. The storeroom is now oh. open yeah. for housemates to collect the yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brandy! Red wine! Oh, there's brandy still? Red wine and what else? Oh, oh, just red wine. Let me have the cans. Um, don't die. Finally. How would you like that? I can't believe it. <laughs> uh oh, the finalists are in the building. <laughs> Holy shit. Coming up, Daniela gets emotional. It really means a lot to me. I was silly to get upset because I'm upset because I'm so happy. And the truth comes out. I'd rather have you just said it to my face that I couldn't have worn it. All right, Steph. <laughs> 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 
10.50 p.m. It's been 23 minutes since John asked Stephanie to stop talking about Jeremy. Because I knew this Irish guy was supposed to be coming in. I didn't know what for, I didn't know what he did. Let me ask you this. Yeah. When you first seen him, was it like an a, automatic attraction? I thought, oh shit, I'm in trouble. Okay. When he first came down them stairs, I thought, oh fuck. Oh. Okay. This is gonna be hard. And then he spoke and I thought, I'm fucked. Okay. Okay. It was literally instant and he locked eyes with me as he came down the stairs. Cause if my memory served me correctly, the very next day y'all was teamed up. Like it just looked that like That night? Yeah. He he looked at me straight in the eyes as he was coming down the stairs as if to go, oi oi. Mm hmm And I thought, oh fuck. That is a love story. We're definitely story. gonna get together, aren't we? Mm-hmm. That's a love story. I hope so, but what if he's had a change of heart while he's not being here? He ain't no had no damn change of heart. Girl, he left you with the locket. That's a big situation. No man is gonna put his mom and his brother who are deceased around your neck and then leave this place if he didn't mean business with you. Daniela is talking to Big Brother. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. I could cry. I can't believe it. I can't believe Gemma went before me. Like, she's in Towie. It's, like, the biggest thing ever. I can't believe people have picked the phone up and, and voted for me and saved me. And My kids are going to be so proud of me. I'm so happy because they've got something to be proud of me for. I've always geared myself up to go home because I've always felt like I weren't really good enough to be here. Everyone else works or has got this going on or that going on or they're popular with different things and I've only ever really been in the, in the public eye for naughty things as, other than EastEnders, but I'm just me. I've got like a pie mash shop and I'm constantly, the press constantly kept saying all the time that I'm a car crash, I'm this, I'm that. And people have got behind me and they've voted for me and they've kept me in here. It really means a lot to me. I still need to get upset because I'm upset because I'm so happy. I can't remember the last time I felt happy like this probably when I had my kids my life's done like turned around all of that crap the struggle being homeless my marriage breaking down all a breakdown soppy partners before and things like that that's all done big brother for me has given me a whole new lease of life it's just changed me as a person and it's given me the confidence to go you know what I can walk in anywhere and I can smash it I can do it. Do you know what I mean? No one's going to pull me down no more. That's it, I'm done. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm just me and I'm proud to be Daniela Westbrook. And that's okay. Twelve or eight AM. Tonight, housemates have all been invited to the Celebrity Big Brother Awards. Oh, my God. For each category, housemates must watch a series of clips and decide which of the nominees is the most deserving winner. I'm just happy to get something to take home. I've never won anything before, not even Connect Four. So <laughs> I'm well excited. The first category is the Most Easily Offended Housemate Award. The nominees are... Tiffany! Daniela, Stephanie, Stephanie, <laughs> and Darren. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Oh God. I do feel like sometimes you take situations too seriously. I, I really don't give a fuck. What? I really don't. Exactly. All right. Can I please finish what I'm gonna say? I'm not stopping you from talking. I'm talking about how I'm feeling because that's my face I'm looking back at. So I have the right to chime in. <sighs> This house is sending me crackers, not doing anything. How oh, Steph, shit. you're gonna be seen like a lunatic, mate. You'll never work again off the back of this show. I'll be honest with you. What, for being me? This is not you, mate. A friend doesn't say you're never gonna work again. A friend never brings shit up like that because no matter how much. Every I will single beat person you. in this house has said it today. Never speak to me again after this, because I, I would don't never want hate it, babe. you. You're sweet. I'm embarrassed to know you. I've seen him oh. pick habits that he had discarded before he came into this house <laughs> and he's using them as a coping mechanism. Well, let's just, just, just get straight that, that that's the smoking and nothing else, OK? Yeah. Please talk to me. I know you're furious at me right now. I'm furious? I'm just hurt. Yeah. Why is Jeremy's show under my pillow? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go, why is Jeremy's show underneath one of my pillows? 
Because Stephanie was running around today doing all sorts of shit in our beds. It's and... not fucking nice, man. Well, I have to that... sleep in that fucking bed. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got to write a name down now. Sorry about this. <laughs> My is Daniela for the trainer. We were laughing at how we all get over a trainer. Most easily offended goes to... Daniela Westbrook for Shoegate. It was funny as hell for Daniela. Well, I've shaken it up a bit. I've gone for Tiff because I thought that was some really good drama, man. That was a cool scene. <laughs> My choice is Dazzle. Dressed as a puppet. Because I couldn't vote for myself because obviously I get so offended. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, Daniela. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is uh -oh. Daniela. <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for nominating me and um, for obviously voting for me. But this, after four weeks of gruelling hell and being very offended and for having to suffer the rancidness of this house, yeah. <laughs> I accept this award and thank you to my agent and to everybody who voted. The next category is the Fence Sitter Award. The nominees are... John <laughs> and Darren. Fight <laughs> <laughs> your Another food fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need a little bit of time out from Steph. She's just uh, doing me in. I'm just, yeah, me and all. There's no way I'm going to say anything because it would kick into the most tumultuous row. Could I borrow that one today and I'll give it back? Which one, baby? The white one. That one. Jumper. Oh. Oh, no. today. Yeah, I'll give it back, but I'm going to wear it like as a dress top. Oh, no. What's the matter? I just showed Steph the stuff that you you, you gave me. She wants to borrow cream when I had her last night for a day. That <laughs> what can I say? I can't say no, can I? Of course you can. She can't fuck it up that much in a day, can she? Yep. She can, can't she? Yep. Fat, there'll be fag burns in it. Yeah. It's where shit starts getting serious and they're going to start bringing up like certain things now. Man, Daz, I asked for a jumper when I've, I think personally, everyone's moaned about very little things, but I've always been very generous with my stuff. I'd rather have you just said it to my face that I couldn't have worn it. It's not a big deal, it's a jumper at the end of the day, but. Oh, that's the... Little things. <laughs> li no, little things. It's a jumper. No, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Little things don't get to me. Maybe you'll find offence because it's just been. I'm seen not taking offence about the babe, jumper at all. I'm just saying what's done is done. It's a freaking jumper, but yeah, yeah. it's all right, babe. See you, right? <laughs> Mine is does it. I chose Darren Day. Well, look, purely <laughs> again because I can't vote for myself, <laughs> so I have to vote for my pal John. It's nice. <laughs> Mine is for Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is. I'm Darren! <laughs> no! I was robbed! You were robbed! Excuse me, I've just got to get oh, the God. splinters out of my ass from sitting <laughs> on the fucking fence. <laughs> now, look, the thing is, right, <laughs> Steph, I would never m intentionally upset you for all of the world, you know? Uh, and I, I, it was purely because I didn't want to say no to you. But um, I've done it with good intentions, that's you all did, I know. Yeah. You and, did, Dad. And what I'd like to say to all of you is I'm proud of every single person in this room I really, really genuinely am proud of you all, and it's a, an absolute pleasure and an honour to be in the final with you all. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it does it! Yes, yes it does. Yes. 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 The final category is for the bitchiest housemate. Oh, this is going to be a good one. I'll probably be up there. I'll be up there as well. I'll be definitely oh, yeah, up there. I've had my moments where I've bitched. The around. nominees <laughs> are... I've slagged off in the dining room. I've slagged off. Daniela. Tiffany! Get what I've said right now. Get over John! It. Yes, now. Darren! Oh! Scotty T! <laughs> and Stephanie! Yeah. Yeah. Mine's oh, gonna wow. be horrendous! Oh, Mine is gonna be horrendous! Listen, whatever it is, Fall guys, back. don't take it no, personally. personally. Don't carry it over. Don't hang but on to it. We might all win an award oh, yeah, for this one. You. Someone else made her bed. Someone else has put all her stuff away for her. She's left Megan's stuff on the floor. Why should I pick up some other bird's fucking drawers off the floor? You tell me why. As long as she's got blokes wrapped round her, she's all right. The bird's a fucking slag, mate. I'm sick of him walking around this house avoiding me. I know that he told me that he forgave me for the misunderstanding we had earlier on. He really doesn't want anything to do with me. 
And I'm sick of living like that. It's now a pattern of behavior, isn't it? Right. Going kicking through that door is now like coming in here and telling someone to fuck themselves. The whole idea is that you stay in these walls and ride it out. In my mind, that's it's kind of cheating. Yeah. <laughs> I can't listen to that. <laughs> listen to what, sweetheart? What is it? Dude? She just yeah. She just wants more comfort in about Jez. She just wants to know that Jez likes her still. But we know that. She knows that. She just wants more people to tell her, oh, he loves you, oh, he loves you, oh, he loves you. The other week with Gemma, when she wouldn't get in the cage, you, when she wasn't in the room, he was saying how pissed off he was and how fume and outrage and all that. Then as soon as she came back in, he was really nice. I felt like, oh, you're not following through what you're saying. Just sitting on the fence type of thing. You all right, Jamie? Yeah, babe. Are you? No. You're not all right? No. Why? I'm horny. Steady on now. <laughs> I don't want to know that Tiff's fucking horny. We need to tell you and about And she fucking, not just that. She knows, that. She she knows that I don't want to fucking know. She it's knows. all bollocks for the fucking cameras. In she the day, she's, she's a bollocks. totally different girl. She's a couple of drinks inside and she plays it out for the cameras. The Fuck things. off. I don't want to know you're fucking girl. horny, mate. Yeah, Keep it to yourself. Oops. That's a hard one. Oh, it's a really hard Interesting. one. Interesting. Right, mine goes to Scotty T. Because I love the fact that he actually got pissed off about something and bitched about something. Oh no! Because he never fucking does. I'm gonna go, I put my dear mate Dan. You don't take any shit from anybody and you say the way it is. I went with Johnny. <laughs> from him. one bitch to another. <laughs> <laughs> you rock that shit so well when you wear your bitch. I got you, bitch. That was really cool. Daniela Westbrook, she may be a bitch, but she's my bitch. Yes, <laughs> Daniela. Yeah! Daniela. Um, I've got to stand up for myself because the last thing I do see myself is a slag. Do take that back. And the winner is Daniela. Oh, there you go. Thank you, bitches. <laughs> I love you, bitch. Double award winner here. Yeah, 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 double award winner. That's me. <laughs> Coming up, Stephanie kicks off. The struggle is real. I mean... <laughs> Sit on the naughty step, something, please. God, fuck me. And Darren's in the firing line. There's a grenade. Take the pin out, throw it. Block the ears for the explosion. Be prepared for highly offensive language and adult chat. One oh one a.m. Stephanie and Tiffany are reeling from the revelations made during Big Brother's awards night. That's just annihilated you. So what did he say again? Because I'm not the same in the day as in the night. It's all an act. What's you all an act? You. You can't be asked with your shit. And he doesn't want to know when you're horny or not. Okay. And party couldn't bring anything up for me because there'd be an absolute explosion. Even though he's the first one to want to be involved in my business and help me out with everything. It's all, it's all working out now. Okay. Now I wish we had nominations. Because <laughs> that's just set a lot clearer in my head. Don't give yeah, me any more drinks. Because I'll be kicking off. Don't give me any more. Darren is staying clear of Tiffany. <laughs> I don't think that's gone down too well at all. <laughs> It's not gone down too well, no. It's not gone down but too I'm well. I'm ignoring it. But do you know what? It's do you know funny. what? I've said fuck all in this house. <laughs> yeah, that's and the last one night I got the ump. Yeah, and last night you got the ump. I've got yeah. the ump. Come out, girl. She's got the right ump. Who has? Yeah. No. Yeah, she has. Yeah, she has. She's steaming. She's, She's got, got the, the right ump. No, she hasn't. She has. Come out, girl. I didn't know he was fucking up. So I she's only messing. She's like, she'll be fine in the morning. These motherfuckers <laughs> want to make all this motherfucking tea and coffee and act like they're your damn friend when they really ain't. Tiff, man. Because anybody got something to say to me, say it to me. Tiff, it was all a game, man. That you were talking that. about me. Yeah. I wasn't even paying the fuck attention because I thought we was cool. Like, uh... I'm not even upset right now. I'm just shocked and surprised. Maybe I did let you did in you on some emotions that I shouldn't have told you about yesterday. Maybe you did then. But there's a way to do shit, and there is a way not to do shit. 
Oh, so I don't even remember what you were saying, but I am not different by day and by night. I'm the same bitch. Okay. There's only no one else. Cool, I like that people are in this Come house on, that have my back that's going to fill me in on information. Every, every, wait, wait. Everybody's, everybody's been in there with all that stuff going on there. Everyone's going to this box. you that I was horny. Excuse me. I know that you're a married man. I didn't need nothing to buy it. At that point, I saw you as a little brother when I said that shit. I wasn't trying to be inappropriate with you, Darren. You could have said to him, you know what? I don't want to hear about that. Do you know I would what? Why is this argument so Listen, that. do you know what? Maybe I should have said that. I wasn't expecting you, you to hear it. it. I know you married. I was just saying some shit that was on but my mind. We're all, men, on, we're all mates here anyway. Like, it's just... Come on, sit down, girl. Come no, on. I'm, I'm okay. I don't understand. But I'm telling you, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not putting no air I wish I wouldn't have I'm not trying to be different by day and by night. The only thing that changes by night is I get a little bit more excited because they put alcohol in here. Come on, girl. That's it. Tiff is cold, babe. Come on, girl. They're putting more in now, so relax. We love you, girl. Please don't tell me to relax. Please don't tell me to relax. Your job is to I'm control Stephanie, more... but you can't control me. I'm okay. No, I'm please seeing they put more alcohol in. Fucking relax. Because so... I'm not even upset. I'm not even stressed out. Right. I made it to the finals. Yes, I'm good. Girl. Congratulations. Come on, girl. It's good. One eleven a.m. Darren is trying to clear the air with Tiffany. Tiff, listen. All right, just listen a minute. But Darren, why couldn't you tell me that I you had a problem with me saying that listen, I was horny? Just you don't listen. think that just... you could tell me that and I would be like, okay, cool, don't discuss that with this married you know what? man. I should have done. I should have done. That's what I should have mm -hmm. done. And you're absolutely right. But you know what? I don't want to upset you. I don't want to upset anyone. That's not my game anymore. But because of the couple of exchanges that we've had in the house, the little things we've talked about, you know what I'm talking about. I felt it was a little bit inappropriate to tell me you're horny because there's but nothing I could do about it. Tell it to Danielle when I'm right here. Like Tiff, I don't want to hear that no more. I would have respected that. And you know what? You're absolutely right. You're a hundred percent bang on right. And I apologise. I should have said it to you last night, okay? Because I can't do anything about the fact that you're horny. Do you know what I mean? So I'm like, why tell me? Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. I don't want to fall out of you. And plus, I know that you feel uncomfortable around me because I did voice it, that I am attracted to we've you. We've got, Tiff, Use a, Tiff, Tiff, we've got a few days. Let's fucking get through it. Hold on, about that. hold on. You was an tr uh, attractive man. So when what? I did say it, maybe I was being a little bit mischievous and oh, scandalous yes. when I did that. Because that's where my mind was at. You know, when I look at, you are hot. You a nice looking man. And, but I didn't mean no disrespect. And you know what? I, I, I genuinely am very, very flattered that you think that. I just want to okay? move forward. But if I ever say anything out my mouth that you don't like... I'll tell you. Can we shake on it? Of course. All right. All I don't right. want to fall out of you. No. I really don't. <coughs> Where's the cans? Um, how many have we been given? How many drinks? So there's literally three cans... I'll put it by your bed. Right, well, I'm going to bed because I'm in a badass mood. Three cans. Three what? cans, that's it. Night, guys, I'm going to bed because I'm in a fucked off mood. <laughs> nah. Oh, shut up, you okay? <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. You know oh, I'm going to be See you later. I'll turn off. Three cans. Ah! The struggle is real. <laughs> I'm sick of the bullshitting the struggle bitch is real. stabbing. Say it to people's freaking faces <laughs> and have some fucking balls as grown fucking <laughs> men. Fucking do it! She writes I've got Scotty. bigger balls and I'm fucking quarter of the fucking age. I need a, I need a drink. Hmm. Ah! I mean... Someone smack her ass. Oh, fucking hell. Seriously. <laughs> somebody, somebody, get, somebody send her to bed without any supper. Stop her. <laughs> Sit her on the naughty step, something, please. God, fuck me. <laughs> 2 19 a.m. Stephanie is not happy with Daniela. And Daniela calling me a slag, you know what I mean? What I ain't that no fucking slag. slag. Like a whore. That's what that means. That means like a whore, like a, like a. Like a prosy, like a like a slag, like a worthless. Oh, like, you know, shit. Like okay, I never heard that term before. And I wouldn't mind, but after her history, you shouldn't really call me that. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Where'd she get off saying that? Mm. 
Darren is talking to Big Brother about tonight's events. Here's a grenade. Take the pin out, throw it, block the ears for the explosion. It was inspired. The little award ceremony. And for the most part, the task was good fun. Darren, but how have some of your fellow housemates reacted to what was seen tonight? I mean, I don't think Tiff, you know, Tiff wasn't very happy about it, obviously. Steph is not happy, but I'm, I'm glad in some respects, uh, in a selfish way, that other bits came out that Steph is now pissed off about to take the heat off of Jumpergate. The fact is that, you know, some people in the house, you know, act dramatically um, at things anyway. I don't know what's genuine, I don't know what isn't. But all I know is that I've only got to put up with it for another couple of days. So how are you going to play the rest of this out? Smile and wave. Just smile and wave. Smile, be nice. So Do you see you guys being friends or picking the relationship up later? No, she's just not a friend, is she? You Did don't you... call your friend a, a slag and that you're never going to work again when you know when she knows what my past has been and how much it, this means to me to turn around, up, yeah. turn around. to low blow. We wake up, we'll have tomorrow night and then it'll be the last night. We're gonna sleep really good. I'm gonna sleep with a clear conscience. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna have the best sleep they've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> At least I know I've got to the final for being real. That's all you gotta be in it. Same here, yeah. Okay, go on in, baby. Good night. You going to bed? Yeah, what the hell are they doing? Look, yeah. good night. I love you too, baby. Cut you back. I got yours. Fuck them. Fuck it. This week, Daniela, Darren, John, Scotty T, Stephanie, and Tiffany all face the public vote. Who wins? You decide from a landline call 090 20 44 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. From a mobile call 6 44 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. For Daniela, add 03. For Darren, add or four. For John, add or eight. For Scotty T, add 13. For Stephanie, add 14. For Tiffany, add 15. Calls to the long number will cost 50p plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50p. Voting closes in Friday's live final. If you watch on catch up after that or outside the UK, please don't vote. Votes cast after lines close won't count. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. Next on Channel 5, there's cavemen kickoffs over theft in the camp in new 10,000 BC two tribes. Or to complete your education with a rather large tipple on the go. Don't miss new series Drunk History on Comedy Central also next. <laughs>